Hello everyone, my name is Brennan Childs and I'm a pianist here on YouTube. Today we're going to be doing an easy piano tutorial for the song Idea One, which is by Gibran Alcacer. Before we get started, I do want to invite you all to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make all kinds of piano content, piano tutorials, piano covers, and original music. And I appreciate every single one of you guys who watches my videos. And with that, let's get right into it. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and play the arrangement in full that you'll be learning in today's video. Okay, so first we're going to start with the right hand. I'm going to show you the full right hand, then we're going to break down the full left hand, and then later I'm going to show you both hands together. So here we go in the right hand. So the first part, you're going to have D sharp, G sharp, and B. And the pattern's going to go like this. Now you do the same thing, but you move your pointer finger down to F sharp, and then your fourth finger down to B flat. Same pattern. Then you go to E. And then that entire section repeats. Then we do a little walk down. So it's going to start with D sharp, C sharp, B, B flat, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp. So it's so it's basically all black keys except for this B. Then you go to G, G sharp, B flat, and then we get into the chorus. So that's. So it starts with the chorus on B, D sharp, B, B flat, D sharp, B flat, 
G sharp. Then it goes back up to the walk up. So then it repeats. So all together it's like this. part we then continue on this G sharp D sharp B B flat F sharp D sharp G sharp so it's and then we do a little walk up B C sharp D sharp B B flat now we go down to G sharp D sharp, B, B flat, D sharp, B flat, B, B flat, G sharp. And then it goes to the walk down again. Now, instead of starting the chorus here, which you normally would, you're going to jump up here and go. like you did last time, except you're going to add in this E. And now you add in this C sharp. So I'm just going to play through that last section that we just did. So it's So now at this point in the right hand, we get to the whole build up of the song where it's basically a repeating pattern. Okay, so you're gonna start with your pinky here on D sharp, middle finger B, thumb on G sharp. So you're gonna go from the top to the bottom four times. Next, you're going to keep your pinky where it's at and then move your middle finger down to B flat and your thumb to F sharp. And do that top to bottom four times. And then you're going to go back to the very first one that you did exactly the same. Now you move your pinky up one and keep everything else the same top to bottom four times. All together those four just to recap next one back to first move that pinky and for it to sound seamless there should be no pausing between each part so all together full speed it would sound like this That's just a practice thing. The more you do it, the more you naturally know where to go next. Okay, so then it continues and you have to do a little jump with your hand. So now you're down here. And now you have to jump up here to pinky on G sharp, middle finger D sharp, and thumb on B. And you do this top to bottom four times as well. you move your pinky up one to B flat and do everything else the same top to bottom four times now you move up here to pinky on B middle finger G sharp and thumb on E you do this top to bottom four times now you move 
move your pinky up to C sharp and keep the other two the same, top to bottom four times. Okay, now when we get up here, this is actually a repeat of, the, of what we did down here. So top to bottom four times, just like we did earlier. Next one is the same as well. Okay, now this one is different. You now jump your pinky up to E, B, G sharp, and you do this only three times. So this is the first time that you're doing it three times top to bottom. Then we immediately jump to C sharp, E, G sharp, and then together you play B flats. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and that leads you straight into the chorus, but you're gonna play it up here. So it's, so that's gonna start on G sharp. One, two, three, four, G sharp. Add that E. Now, at this point, you actually add in a new part. So it's gonna go like this. It's very similar to the chorus, but you're just adding in more keys. So it's gonna be G sharp, B flat, B, and then it, you're gonna go up to D sharp and then back walk down, so. So it's gonna be like this. And then you move quickly to B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then it goes back to the normal chorus. Then it goes B, B flat, G sharp. So it's down to E. All together, I'm gonna to show you this part. So we're ending on the last little one here. Now it changes. to normal. Okay, then you jump down here to the same chorus, but just playing it lower on the piano. E. And that's how the song ends. So what I'm gonna do now is full speed, I'm gonna play the entire right hand from start to finish, just so you can see how it all ties in together without that left hand.
Okay, so now that we've learned the right hand, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the left hand parts. So how it goes, you start on this one, G sharp, B flat, D sharp. So you go, so you move your pinky up to D sharp, middle finger F sharp, thumb on B flat, and you go. Then you move down to C sharp, E, and G sharp. This time you repeat this pattern four whole times. One, two, three, four. So it's like this. That entire thing then repeat. goes down to B, middle finger on D sharp, and thumb on F sharp. So you're doing that twice. Then you jump up to pinky on D sharp, middle finger G, and thumb on B flat, and you do this one twice. And then now we get into the repeating pattern that you'll play for most of the song. So the repeating pattern is these four. G sharp, B flat, D sharp again. So you go. Next we move up to B, D sharp, and F sharp. We do this one twice as well. Next we move up to E, and then you're playing G sharp and B. And then we move down to C sharp, middle finger E, and thumb on G sharp, and we do this twice as well. So it's gonna repeat like this. It repeats on a loop. basically continues for a big majority of the song and then at a later point which I'm going to show you when we put both hands together you go back to this B back to this E G and B flat and then right back into the four again so I'm going to show you when that B come in okay but basically you're playing everything that you're already familiar with because you did these two at the beginning of the song so now at this point I'm gonna put both hands together and like I said I'm gonna show you when you need to change your left hand but for probably 70 80 percent of the song you're just doing those four that I taught a second ago so here we go with both hands together for the intro it's gonna be that first beginning part that I taught so I'm gonna go ahead and show you next one, that's when it might move my left hand as well. Now when I go to this E, that's when I move to the C sharp. And that repeats. one of this one that's when you do the so how it's gonna be is like this Now, when I hit this 
D sharp, that's when I go to this B. Then G, and this one. B, that's when I move to the groups of four. B flat, I move to B. G sharp, I move to E. You're not playing anything in the right hand, you just move to the next part in the left hand. starting on the G sharp and the B flat when I'm hitting the last two here before I start over. Back to B and G sharp at the same time, just like you did earlier. Switch. this part. Now when I hit B flat, that's when I move to the B in the left hand. Move to G sharp when you move to E here. And then that's when you go into the right hand. sharp at the same time that I'm playing this G sharp. Switch. Switch. Okay, so now when I hit this D sharp, that's when I'm going back to the B. This is when I jump in my right hand. Again, we're starting on the B, and that's when we go back to the beginning of the loop. To the E, at the same time that you do the C sharp. B and G sharp at the same time. So this one you do two times like normal and then you hold. Okay, so there's a little pause. And so now, for the first part, this left hand is going to be a little bit different. So that's the part I was talking about earlier. So you're going to have, instead of playing the... You're actually going to take the key that your pinky is playing each time and then just do those with your pinky and thumb. So it's G sharp, right? That comes from this. You're taking the G sharp, right? The first key that you're playing on each one. So that's G sharps. I just repeat it four times. One, two, three, four, up to B, two, three, four, up to E, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I go back to the other pattern I was doing earlier. So I'm going to show you. This is very tricky, so do not be too hard on yourself if you're not getting it right away. But I'm going to go ahead and show you both hands together. So here we go, starting with our pinky and thumb on G sharp. Okay, now we're going to move at the same time to in the left hand as the right hand. So when I'm hitting this D sharp, I move to the B. Move to E. 
sharp switch. Now I start the one, two, three, four. one here in the right hand. show you the second half of that again. Here we go. So each group of keys, so it's going to be like this. Then you just play this one down here, because if you did it up here, you'd run out of room. Same for this one. Okay, guys, and there you have it. That is the entire piano tutorial for Idea One by Gibran Alcacer. If you found this video helpful, definitely consider subscribing to my channel, as it does help me out a ton here on YouTube. And I appreciate every single one of you guys who watches my videos. Don't forget to create art and I'll see you guys next time.